This year, eight of the top high school basketball teams from around the country will compete in the second annual T-Mobile Invitational. This is a journey of one team, the St. Anthony Friars. We've won over 20 state, well over 20 state championships, nine tournament of champions, and numerous Christmas tournaments and other tournaments. This is big. Um, I've never, I never been in a tournament like this before. I don't think none of my teammates have either. Because there's so many thousands, thousands of teams out there that could be in this tournament. And for us to be in that tournament, it, it shows something about us. We've done something, I guess, to prove them that we deserve it. And now, you know, when we get there, it's time to show them why we're there and showing every other team. You know, to be picked out of so many teams in the country, this is a big, big reward. Um, basketball seemed to be the niche for this school right from its inception in terms of being an important aspect of life here in the school, but not the most important aspect of life. I think there's something about this school in that uh, sport is, is a tool here. And the tool that's, that sport is used for here is to utilize sport in order to advance young people to another stage in their life. With an impressive record both on and off the court, the Friars show that athletics and academics go hand in hand. In the 36 years, I've only had two kids and 36 years have not gone on to college. And uh, my senior class this year, for example, we have six kids who have already accepted scholarships. We are talking about, just in this group, over a million dollars in, in, in scholarship money has been received by my basketball team, you know, and we haven't even started our, their senior year yet. A lot of our kids were coming here, typical inner city kids, many of whom thought that the only thing they could do well was play basketball. And they used to always say, look how, how much you practice to make those shots. You've got to do the same thing for school. Um, it's a challenge sometimes, but um, I'll, after practice, I go straight home, do my homework, and then everything else. I like it's always school, basketball, and then everything else. Once you realize how important basketball is to you and how much of a part of your life it is, you understand that school has to be that much more. You know, it has to be even higher than basketball. It's just bad. School has to come first to continue basketball. So I just put a lot of effort into it, and now look at me. Like everything's paying off and I got a four-year scholarship to college. I'm playing for the best coach in, in America right now, so there's nothing more you can say. In 31 years, Coach Bob Hurley has led the Friars to a stunning 24 state championships, setting a standard of excellence for each of his players in the classroom and on the court. Why are you so successful? Because you're a small school. There's no doubt in my mind that it's because of him. We talk to the kids all the time about five fingers working individually, all trying as hard as they can, will never be as strong as a fist when everybody works together. So that's kind of the way we talk all the time. I get kids that will do individually, they'll try as hard as they can to do things, but they've got to be able to trust their teammates and trust the ability of teammates and everybody learn to function together. He obviously is a great coach. You see all the banners and stuff like that around. He won over 900 games and no missing modern state championships. And so it's a great opportunity to play for a legendary coach like Coach Hurley. Hopefully this year um, we could be part of that and win a state championship and hopefully win the TLC. Uh, we do we practice every day. You know, there's no weekends we practice. So uh, basically they tell us they want to be good. They tell us they would like to play at the college level. Well, we got to get to work and work on it. Very often basketball players, I think in their heads, know that Bob Hurley cares and will be there for them. But when they're going through being on his team, they're not so sure. You know, they just think, this man's crazy. <laughs> I'm never going to lower the bar. If I think a kid has ability, I'm never going to drop it. But I'll never lower my expectation for what he can do because I've been convinced over the years so many kids who have come out of the school have done unbelievable things because they were ordinary people with uh, an extraordinary desire to be successful. That's his expectation. His expectation is, here is our standard. We never fall below this standard no matter what happens. And if you don't think that will help you in some boardroom someplace when some tough decision is being made, you don't know much about life. One of the smallest schools in New Jersey, St. Anthony, has had to battle its way to the top, using its intelligence team. Will the miracle of St. Anthony lead the Friars to the title of T-Mobile Invitational Champions? Tune into Versus for all the action.